Hey guys, this video is called How to Learn Faster, Smarter, and Better Than School, or How to Be Well-Rounded as f Now, education has been monopolized by schools, just like the mob. So, yeah, you don't want to go to school, you don't want to get a standardized education, we're going to break your thumbs. you got to get that degree, you got to get those good grades. It's my terrible accent. Now, generally, I don't like school, but I love learning, like Cookie Monster <laughs> loves cookies. I'm really kind of nuts about it, that's why I put my time and energy into these these courses, these trainings. There's a big distinction. I want you to be able to separate learning from school. Skip college doesn't mean you stop learning. I want you to learn faster, smarter, better than school. In fact, you're gonna learn more. The thrill of learning. Learning should be exciting, rewarding, stimulating, fun. I mean, think about, think about a relationship or when you fall in love with somebody. Isn't it so amazing when you're, you're learning about the other person? Learning is the essence of a good life, in my opinion. Autodidactic. Uh, the technically definition is a self-taught person. And I say it's not just self-taught, but it me means someone who can guide themselves to teachers and topics that they want to learn. Self-taught is kind of bullshit because you, culturally you're taught these extremes. Either you're told you're a genius prodigy who learned a piano or coding with no guidance like Mozart or Beethoven or Mark Zuckerberg. Or if you're not a genius, then you're just a normal schmo who needs 16 years of school to learn anything. And how dare you think that you don't need school? This is a myth that only rare, talented, special genius individuals can learn on their own, i.e. without school or former, formal institutional education, like a, like a unicorn. The reality is everyone has the capacity to be autodidactic. You know, the course I teach is self-paced. Students don't have a teacher hovering over them. I, it's all done online. And students take what I teach and they run with it. And they become self-aware and self-educating and self-directed. And, and it's amazing. You might have actually, you know, yourself, you might have taught yourself music or Photoshop or video or skateboarding. When people say, they, oh, I taught myself this, usually it doesn't mean they sat in the room and channeled the information and just sort of figured it out without any guidance. Usually it means you watched a video, you found someone who knows how to do it, you read a book. Um, you know, you, you became engaged in the learning process. So the key missing ingredient in learning and why school sucks is, is the missing ingredient is fun. When you actually enjoy or have an interest in a topic, you'll learn it much faster rather than being crammed into a classroom memorizing bullshit. And the great thing is that as an adult, you get to choose what to learn. It is absolutely incredible, guys. So if you're 18, as I said, I don't care what your parents tell you. If you're 18, you're an adult, you can choose what you want to learn. If you're 13 or 10, you can still think this way because you're going to be 18. <laughs> the time, the clock does not stop ticking. You are going to be 18. Now, you've spent decades being mentally domesticated, sitting in the classroom. Now, class, take out your books, read from paragraph one. Oy. Now it's time for you to take responsibility for your own learning and growth. You've had no control over what you learn. So how can you determine the direction of your life if you aren't even choosing what you're learning? You couldn't, and now you can. You can, and that's where you have power. When I say how to learn better than school, it's a little misleading because it makes it sound like school is a good place to learn. In fact, just by learning outside of school, you're gonna learn faster and smarter. Everyone I, everyone I know in, in my entire life who's picked up a topic outside of school has learned it better than they ever did in school. School is the only American product that is widely considered by everyone to be a failure. It's just, it's universal. We say, oh, the schools are failing, they're terrible, but you gotta go to school. It, it doesn't make any sense. So here's what you do, guys. It's really simple. Read books, watch documentaries, videos, listen to audiobooks, take online courses, meet mentors. You are the teacher. You are the one determining the curriculum. When I figured, I didn't figure this out until I was about 22, and I just was like, whoa, I can just go to a bookstore and put together a bunch of books that I want to read <laughs> instead of what they're telling me to read in school. So when you're not worrying about grades or admissions or essays or, you know, the extracurriculars, all the other bullshit, and you can just focus on what you want to learn, life becomes a lot more fun. There's a great book I recommend by Blake Bowles, who's a contemporary of mine, called The Art of Self-Directed Learning. How to Light Your Mind on Fire, Learning How to Learn, Information Versus Knowledge, uh, Time Wealth. This is, this is a very stimulating, out-of-the-box book. It's, I really highly recommend it. It'll give you a little more direction on you know, how to be a self-directed learner. Because you, you will find it comes very natural. It will come naturally once you get into it. But we've been, you spent so many years being a sheep in school, it takes a little practice to, to be the, the per person, to be responsible for your own learning. And it's very, very exciting. Now, being well-rounded. While I do focus on money in this course, I recommend you learn about other things as well. And I think well-rounded, the concept, oh, you're gonna to go to college to become well-rounded. 
being well-rounded is a good concept. Just it doesn't, it never happens in college. You don't get well-rounded from paying $40,000 to sit in the classroom. You want to learn about things like history or science or art or music or just something that interests you. You know, I think Netflix documentaries teach more than school. Go to, you know, the Civil War documentary by Ken Burns, The War, which is about World War II, The Dust Bowl. There's docs on medieval history, nature documentaries. They're more entertaining and you're more likely to remember things. Critical thinking and context. You know, I watch historical docs to see how things have changed in the world. So I just think anything you're learning, think of it in the context of the world. You know, or being a human being, you know, art and music may not have practical application, but it expands your, your spirit and 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 it, it has it has virtues that are beyond just, you know, dollars and cents. Learning about history, you know, I think gives you historical context and makes you a smarter person. The Dust Bowl was an example of a great documentary about what happened in the 30s. The farmers over farmed the land and it led to this insane dust cloud, which is very relevant today because we're obviously having issues with the climate. The Dust Bowl was fucking insane. These, it was almost like a Hollywood movie. These dust clouds would come and just consume these small towns. And this actually happened. Now, 70 years later, 80 years later, we've forgotten about it. I think historical documentaries are great because it, it not only gives you an awareness of what happened in the past, it helps you appreciate where we are now and gives you a sense of what might happen in the future. But whatever you learn, do an experiment. Find a school-related topic that you're actually interested in and study it on your own. That's it. There's a 95% chance it's going to be more fun and interesting because I love history and science. Now, I hated it in high school. I hated I hated history class so much. You, know, you, you come in there, you're learning about the American Revolution, whatever. You're memorizing this statistic, that fact. It wasn't fun. It wasn't engaging. Now I watch documentaries on history, on science. I think it's fascinating. So and forget about classes in general. What I say is a douchebag who majors in English is still a douchebag. College and classrooms are not going to change fundamentally who you are. But travel will. If you go to other places, other countries, meet people from different backgrounds, it's stimulating and it's more educational than classes. I would say expand your mind by experiencing the world through someone else's eyes and worldview. You don't even have to work at it. If you just go to another country and actually engage with people in another culture, you will learn something. You will grow. It will affect you. It will affect you. You will look back on that time in your life and go, wow, that really affected me. And it's, it's a beautiful thing. I wait for this thing to beep. That is the biggest missing, especially in American education, you know, and culture. In every other country, developed country, in Europe and Australia, the young people travel after high school. They get out there into the world and they actually experience something outside of these stupid classrooms. That's the thing that pisses me off the most about college. People say college expands your mind. It doesn't. It doesn't, you, you, spent, you spent your whole life inside of a classroom. How can you be a fully fledged human being if you're not out there in the world? So I think school does this, infantilize, to treat someone as a child or deny your maturity. Grades, recess, approval, you have to do this, you have to do that, you have to be a good student. Maturity equals power. So look up words, learn stuff, handle it yourself. I'll provide the guidance and you run with it. Responsibility also equals power. So in all of my courses, I relate to you as an advanced person. I don't care if you're 10 years old. I think of you as a capable, smart, resourceful person. You can learn and figure things out yourself with some guidance. That's who you are. You're not some helpless student who needs help getting a, an A in math or something like that. You have what it takes. You have power. So that's this video. And I want you to come into the rest of the course with that context. The next video, the next section is called how to actually fucking make money. And I'm going to teach you how to actually fucking make money. And it's going to be, I think, wildly exciting for you. But you need to come to it from this context as a responsible person who's capable of learning and exploring, you know, and figuring stuff out yourself. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.